Approximately 7,300 species of frogs around the world, and the most colorful ones are the most po poisonous. Yikes! National Frog Jumping Day is important because it brings literature to life, as well as it brings awareness to different kinds of frogs and their impact within our ecosystem. Inspired by Mark Twain's story, Northern California started hosting a Cavaliers Country Frog Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee. The first event was held in 1893. The main event is the Frog Jumping Competition. One frog named Rosie the Vividor was held the jumping record at 21 feet 5 and 3 fourths inches since 1986. That's some riveting information. Tomorrow is the hockey tournament at the Honda Center. Our Screaming Eagles of street hockey are set to play at least four games or more, depending on the advancement to the next round. With the support of students, family, and friends, and fans, the positive energy and excitement will bring you signs, RT spirit wear, spirit wear, and cheering from the crowd will be seen, heard, and felt by the players. This builds confidence, belief, believing in self and team, and gives them focus and drive to play every second with champion's mindset. How is that for an instant ghost mindset? If you can't make it early, like 8 o'clock, come, come by any time, even for a few minutes to show your face. Throw out a positive chant and grab some Chick-fil-A. Things should be wrapping up around 2.30, so have a long afternoon to do other things. See you there, RT community. At the time of filming this and morning announcements, the Encanto Movie Night RT hasn't happened yet, so we will report on how it went community reactions and any feedback along with some media. This coming this is coming Monday on morning announcements. Donations are still coming to support your outdoor outdoor learning lab, also known as the RT Gardens. There are some light brown mechanical pencils available either in two packs for one dollar or a five pack for two dollars. Get them while we still got them. These donations go towards prevent, preserving, maintaining, planting, and expanding the be this beautiful educational environmental feature that is available for everyone to learn from and enjoy. Berman Temple recognizes this, that there are athletic scholars who participate in, in sports outside of school. These can be 
recreational teams, club, club teams, and travel teams. Playing on an organization sports team is a great way to learn a new sport. Beware of, of where you're currently at and how, it, how you will push your abilities to new levels while maintaining a healthy body and mind. Through positive po positivity, socialization, you will develop a healthy mind, healthy positive relationships with teammates, coaches, and referees, and opposite players. It's a win-win for everyone involved. You have an advantage. Yep, you're a soaring scholar, which gives you an advantage over others who may not have developed those knowledge, skills, and behaviors. So represent your community, community and school by being a model for others to learn from. Continue, continuing to soar will give you the best experiences regardless of the points on the scoreboard. Getting the win is the goal. It's just not the only goal. Athletes have fun this week at your games or tournaments, whether local or away. Let us know the game results along with what you learned. Any highlights and experience you want to share, put them in the principal's mailbox outside the office. Shout out to Fox and Miss Harris's class. Is it ha in Miss Harris's class on his upcoming game this week? In or Las Vegas. Water balloon volleyball tickets are available for for purchase on the PBIS store now. If you have points and meet the soaring behavior requirements, you can make one of those tickets yours. This is going to be an extraordinary event with fun and laughs for everyone. It's about having a good time. Being a good sport with a positive mental attitude is a must. There are some who are new to this game and others may have played it or just some form of volleyball. The point is, be patient, make it fun, and remember that words matter. Hey, what's, what's for lunch? lunch? Today for lunch, Friday, May 13th, Friday the 13th, the RT Kitchen is serving cheese and gelatas. Monday, May 16th, the RT Kitchen is serving chicken taquitos. Stay tuned for your set words after the pledge. Remember to soar every, every day, day, everywhere, with everyone. That's, That's it, it for me and Temple Student Council team. Bye! Put your hand, right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation.